This is Dan Badandi. It's May 1st, 2013, and this guy, Troy Sexton, this guy from West Virginia, he calls the Alex Jones show, he calls uh, Jason Burma's show constantly, and just, like, trolls and everything. He's been trolling me for the last uh, week or so, and non-stop, you know, calling me every name in the book, trying to get me to call him. So, you know what? I'm going to give him the opportunity to talk, and I told him, you know, keep it civil, and we'll debate. You know, he wants to debate, so here we go. And we're calling Troy Sexton from West Virginia. Hi, is that Troy there? Hey, yeah, this is Troy, this is Danny Benondi. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, how's it going there, mobsters? Oh, uh, not bad. So, yeah, um, yeah, well, like, I don't understand, uh, what do you want to debate, though? Well, 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 first off, you said there were, um, drills taking place that day. Well, that wasn't from my mouth. Uh, that's what I was trying to explain to you. I was told that by uh, the Washington Post. The Washington Post posted that on Twitter, and um, they even or, or was re even retweeted about two thousand times. So that you know, as a journalist, I, of course you got to question that. You know what I mean? So that You're was saying isn't true. Huh? You made it very clear the bombs were taking bomb drills were taking place that day. Yeah, they were. It, just, it was inaccurate. No, because I. Bobby. I interviewed several people that were there that witnessed it, and uh, you know, and the Washington Post confirmed yes, there was bomb drills taking place. You're lying to me, Dan. What, what's the names of all these people you interviewed about the bomb drills taking place? No, we interviewed them. I got them. I uh, did a report. It's all on the video and everything. We just you didn't it. interview anybody, did you, Dan? Yeah, we did. I know you didn't. Go, just go to Infowars, man. It's, uh, we got tons of interviews. We got uh, there was a coach that even said it. A coach that was, uh, it, you know, a coach of these runners. You had one coach. You had one person. Yeah, but why would? Said, uh, no, let me ask you a question now. Why would the Washington Post post that? I don't believe they did. Well, uh, it doesn't matter what me and you believe, man. It's they tweeted that. I even called the Washington Post and asked them why they took the tweet down. And they couldn't give me an answer, and it was retweeted 2,000 times. We got the um, the screenshot of that. That was posted on Infowars as well. The, the thing is, we're not making accusations. We're just questioning what we were told. Local 15 even said that there was uh, announcements made on loudspeakers that, um, they, you know, to stay calm, and this is just a drill. Dan, Dan, you're making, yes, you just lied to me again, Dan. You know I don't like liars. I'm not lying. Right. This is on record, man. You didn't make accusations, Dan. Well, why don't you go right now to the... You on the internet right now? What? Are you on the internet right now? Yes, I am. I can get on it, Bubs. Well, why don't you go Google this, okay? This is... We're trying to explain to you, man. Like, we're, this is the only stuff we're hearing from the media. We're not making the stuff up. You can't make the stuff up. I don't care what the media says. Well, we don't, the media, I don't trust the media. Look we don't trust the media either, but they reported this, and I, of course, as a journalist, I have to ask those questions. Now, yeah, you can ask questions, but, but you're being, well, go ahead and tell me what I need to Google, Bob. Yeah, just uh, Google um, dri uh, Local 15, uh, let me check here, Local 15, to give you accurate... Uh, Alright, if you go to, um, we got the hyperlinks on uh, Infowars. If you go to uh, Infowars, uh, Google, just type in uh, Infowars, eyewitness, authorities announced drill before Boston explosion, and they have the links for the sources, and also the people's names, the coach I was talking about, and, you know, all the information about it. And the New York Times also uh, said something about it, so we got all the hyperlinks on that. Okay, so now I need to go to Infowars. Well, yeah, because uh, uh, Paul Joseph Wa Watson, he's got all the, um, you know, where the sources are. Uh, I'm sorry? Infowars, Marathon, I'm trying to look, I'm trying to find a tweet. Oh, no, go to, uh, you know, Google uh, Infowars, eyewitnesses, authorities announced drill before Boston explosion. Actually, you know what, you on Facebook right now? All right, let me uh, send this right over to you. I just send you the link now. Yeah, I just send you the link. And on that uh, article there, there's the 
New York Times and uh, the local 15 uh, links that where the sources are about this. No, just go to the article I just posted there. I'm looking at the at the InfoWars article. It says University of Mobile's cross country coach Alice Stevenson told Local 15 News. Yeah, there's a source right there, the hyperlink. And he says right there they keep they kept making announcements on the loudspeaker that, that this was just a drill and there was nothing to worry about. Boy, come on. You know how many hundreds, maybe thousands of cameras were recording that day and you can't produce one of them that has this apparent audio that was said? Oh, yeah, and that's why exactly we got all the videos and uh, footage. And we got the pictures and everything of this, these things happening. You don't have anything. You have, you have no audio. You have nothing over loudspeakers talking about bomb drills. <laughs> well, why was it reported by the media? Because they took what this one person said as fact, which was not a fact. Well, the media reported it. Uh, that's a, the, the thing is, if it was, wasn't was true, why wouldn't they answer it? That's what we just want to know. You know, we want to know if it's true or not. Now, if it wasn't true, just say you were the FBI for a minute, right? Now, when I or the governor, I mean, if I asked you that, right, and then you know in your heart it wasn't true, you would have stood by that and you say, hey, no, that's not true, and this is the reason why. But to ignore that, it shows actually, guilt you're right wrong. there. You're, actually, you're wrong on everything you just said. No, I'm not wrong. It's I've been doing this for years, man. Like, there's nothing wrong about it. I just ask real questions. That's all I do. One person made a claim and it has not been proven true. Well, regardless, how come, how come they haven't proved it wrong? I mean, if they proved it wrong, by all means, I would be happy. More than happy to admit. How can you prove it wrong? How can you prove that wrong? All I want is for one out of a thousand video recorders that provide the audio evidence of this. Well, that's what we want, too. We want the truth. Okay, yeah. but you have 75% of the people on your side, which means 75% of the people recording are on your side, which means 75% of 1,000 is 750 people have it on their video recorder. Well, you know what? How many times has the FBI been caught red-handed and stuff? Subject, no, this is all to do with the FBI. How many times have they caught with the hand in the pot? I don't know. You tell me, Bobs. Tons of times. I mean, you had the, uh, the Times Square bombing, the Christmas tree bomb uh, attempt, you know, uh, with the Mall of America. You know, all these bomb attempts always have to do with the FBI involved so somehow. But I'd, I'd rather keep it on the, on the Boston Marathon. Well, yeah, that's what exactly. We, you know, we're, we're openly saying, yes, we think the FBI was behind us. A false flag. Can we, can we agree that I've proven you wrong over the bomb drill thing? No, you you didn't because you didn't prove you no know, documentation. The thing is, we have document. Give you documentation of something that didn't happen. Yeah, but we got documentation staying there. There was now. If there, if you show me a documentation that said that didn't happen, I would be more than happy to. I mean, I wish this didn't happen. I you you can me. I wish none of this happened. We don't want this stuff to happen. One person that said something which has not been proven true. Okay. Annie, come on. One per Listen, I've done giving you. You said 75% of the people are on your side. 75% of a 1,000 video recorders. What of That's 750 video recorders. And nobody's brought it forward. Can you please get this through your head, Bubs? Well, this is the questions we want to know. Yeah, we're just asking. Okay. You're not asking because you're, you're making claims. You're making false claims. So can we now agree? False to claims? Uh, yeah, then you have, you have the local media agree reported you have this. no evidence of bomb drills. Oh, there was plenty of evidence of bomb drills. Well, well please give me that evidence. You said we got, we got, you didn't see the videos? You didn't see the uh, the guys in the khaki pants all over the bomb site, all over the uh, place the whole day? You didn't khaki see the pants was evidence of bomb drills? Yeah, there was a report about bomb drills on the Boston Globe. Khaki pants! How does khaki pants equal bomb drills? The Boston Globe reported that there was bomb drills being done that day. That's where we no, got they the did not. Yes, they did. We got the screenshots and everything. That's a hey, fact. That's on record. Me, I'm not hey, lying. 
you're, you're, you're not lying, but you're just you're misinformed. Oh you're yeah, misinformed. Well, you know, if it wasn't true, then prove it. You know, if it wasn't true, we'll be more than happy to uh, no, retract. Prove something to you that never happened. Was you my there? My dog didn't eat my cat. Was How you there? Eat my cat, so I guess you are kind of right in a sense. <laughs> yeah, my cat's alive. So well, I mean, how do you prove something that never happened? I don't know how to do that. But here, it's all on a record. And right here, like got local 15 news right here. UM coach bomb sniffing dog spotters on roofs before explosion. We got the pictures of these spotters on the roofs. We got the pictures of the dogs, the bomb sniffing dogs. And the governor himself said that they do that in precautionary for the event. He said it with his own words when I in, uh, asked him the question. If they knew about this ahead of time. He admitted that they did this. Hey, Dan, do you think there were bomb sniffing dogs? I seen the bar. I mean, I... I was right, well, like, two feet away from the bomb sniffing dogs. Like, I seen the whole thing. I have been in Boston yeah. the whole week. The Boston Marathon, you're going to have security there. You're going to have dogs. Come on, Dan, they were there last year and the year before and the year before and the year before. Probably for the past 15 years. Dan. Yes, Come but they, absolutely, but they're running drills. They were running drills all that time. You have not proven to me there were drills. Well, Local 15, I mean, uh, Boston Globe said there was. Local 15 does not say there were drills. They just Boston Globe, Boston Globe reported drills. drills on Twitter. That's on record. Yeah, and I, I agree with Roger. What was his name? Whatever it was, Nicholson. You're a likable guy. You're going down the wrong path. No, I'm not, man. I, I, I was there. <laughs> you know, what I mean, yeah, I, I was in the middle of the action. Going down the wrong path, Dan. This isn't good for you. You done said you lost your wife. Lost family and friends. This isn't good for you. Wake up and be normal. <laughs> well, I am. I'm trying to get my country back, man. Why do you think JFK won the abolish the FBI? Man, what is the problem with your country? There is no problem with your country. Have you been... There's no problem? I, Dan, I have been... I have been tortured by my country. Have you been tortured by your own country? Yes, I have in many ways. Everybody's has. No, no, not everybody has. I have been tortured by my country. Well, then you should be mad about it then. You should be up and, up and raging about that. You know, our, con our Constitution's going down the toilet. We have police uh, going into people's homes without warrants. You have the FBI tapping, without, you know, without warrants of uh, people's phones and everything. This is all on record uh, with the Patriot Act and the National Dan, Defense Authorization Act. Dan, the police have raided my home three or four times. How many times have they raided your home? None yet. I'm off the grid, so... <laughs> You've done it to me three or four times, okay? You think I like you think I like this shit? No, I don't. Well, why don't you want I believe in bullshit conspiracy? Well, aren't you outraged about it? Did they have a warrant when they did it? Yeah, they did. And what was the uh, the reason why they raided your home? I was putting handcuffs in front of my kids for an empty beer bottle because I was on probation, okay? Yeah, and I'm sorry to hear that, man. But I mean, like, you can't deny the police state. I mean, it's in the national. Well, go to what? Go right now. The WhiteHouse.gov website, right? I want you to PDF these files. The Patriot Act and uh, National Defense Authorization Act of 2012. PDF them. Yeah, read through them. You don't comprehend things like. I guess I don't want to offend you, but you don't comprehend things like normal people, just like the bomb drills you think happened. You don't comprehend things normally. That's why I want you to seek help. Go see a doctor. Just do it. So I don't comprehend that there is bomb drills, even though it was uh, reported on the media and admitted by several different people. Yeah, even the, I mean, the thing about you people is if, if the media says something that you, uh, you want to hear... Well, uh, you know what? Hey, why don't you go watch my video? The police commission himself, not the mayor, I'm sorry. It was the police commission himself that said, yes, they did conduct bomb searches. No, he did not. That's he did, too. When I asked him well, about the drills being done, and they said, yeah, we do precautionary. Admitting, yes, we did drills. They admitted no, it. It was Monday. They did not do bomb drills during the Boston. All right, well, it's on record. I got, I got the commission right in the press conference and, and view the entire world seeing this on CNN, Fox, and everything else. The entire world witnessed when they asked him this, and he stated that. That basically he admitted, yes, we did, because it's a precautionary event. He did too. This is on record. 
He, it's on record. Was there any prior knowledge of? Because according to BostonGlobe.com, they said they were doing drills this morning for the same exact thing to happen. According to BostonGlobe.com. Now, was you guys given any warning ahead of time of this uh, taking place? As I said earlier, there was no specific intelligence. Uh, we certainly increase uh, posture around a big event like this. All of those things happened in preparation for this event, but there was no specific intelligence that anything was going to happen. Hey, can you talk? Danny, Dan, I really do like you. I think you're, you've been brought, like, brought, Nicholson had it right. He had it absolutely right. Dan, please, just seek help. <laughs> Don't be this way. Go after the government. For the right reasons, not the wrong. Oh, I am going after the right reasons. I'm sick of uh, being pulled over because uh, I don't have a seatbelt on. You know, that's a Fourth Amendment violation. I'm sick of police busting man, people's doors in. How many, times, man, how many times have you had men look up your asshole for drugs? Okay, Dan, I've had it happen to me. I've been in a pickle sitting here. Yeah, I don't know how long. Total of 10 days in solitary confinement around crazy people. You know that? I've been tortured with nothing but your thoughts in an 8 by 10 cell. That has happened to me, Dan. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, man, but you should be a rage just like uh, we are. Hey, Jesus Christ, Dan, have you not discovered my YouTube channel? I have been outraged. I have gone after these people, okay? Yeah, but I don't, I, get, I don't get what you... We're, we're fighting the same battle you are, and you don't even realize that. Fighting the same battle. We man. are, man. We're, we're against the national. Are you against the National Defense Authorization Act and the Patriot Act? I don't even know what that is, Dan, okay? I guess I'm a dumb sheep. You don't know what the National Defense Authorization Act is? No, and of course you probably know it or think you know it. No, no, it, no I'm, I want you to do me a favor, okay? I want you to look, research these for yourself. You could go to the what, .gov website, okay, to get officially from them. The NDAA. Isn't true. They're not coming after us over Hold on. This. Hold on. Just, let me let me finish here. Camps. Let me finish. That is not true, Dan. It's not. Uh, go. Are you online right now? And you are you online? So go to um, Army Regulations 210-35, HR 645. This is all on record. Why aren't you in a FEMA death camp? Why aren't you? HR 645, Army Regulations 210-35. These are government documents openly stating this stuff. That's the first question, how is the Boston freaking bombing? How did that happen? What you say is true. It is true. Wake up, man. Don't go after the government for the right reasons. We are. We have a legitimate government that's trying to take our civil liberties. It's not an inside job. The marathon bombing was not an inside job. Sandy Hook was not an inside job. Nor was Aurora, Colorado. Go <laughs> after them for the right reasons. Yeah, you know it's how in Aurora, Colorado, that was the only movie theater that was a gun-free zone. You think that wacko would have pulled that off in um, a, a non-gun-free zone? Assuming what you say is true, it's the only gun-free movie zone in Colorado. What does that prove, Dan? And let's, that let's go to statistics. FBI.gov admits this. States that have little to no gun control have far less crime and murder rates than states that do. Now you have New York and Chicago who pride themselves on gun control, but guess what? They have the highest murder, and uh, with murder rates and crime rates with guns in the entire country. Okay, now you're quoting gun control laws, which I don't necessarily disagree with you about. But some crazy lunatic went to a movie theater and killed a bunch of innocent people. Yeah, and he was, uh, and uh, they don't tell you that he was uh, doped up on psychotropic drugs and also coached by the feds. You, you, see, you have to believe everything Alex Jones says. Psychotropic drugs, blah blah blah. No, it's all on record. I mean, it's you, it's stupid to not even look at it. You know, what I mean, it's like, how could you not question things? Don't you want to question things as a human being? You know, I found a father's. Oh, Well, you know what, we, well, we can help you get those answers. We, we, I mean, what, what I'm talking about personally is so infinitesimally 
0.001% of a marathon bombing or 9-11 or a Colorado duty or any other massacre. Well, we can help you get those answers. I mean, I'm sorry what you've been through and my heart goes out to you, truly, you know, and, uh, but you got to understand. God, God damn it, I, 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 I struggle making fun of you because I've done it, because you're a good person. I just think there's something... Yeah, but I'm I'm over here giving you the facts, okay? I'm giving you government documents. It's in government documents. Uh, let me. You're on my here. I've got to I've got to give you these government documents. And anybody anybody listening, because I know you're recording this, um, go to Google right now and type in Army Regulations 210-35, HR 645. Type those two documents. Okay, and that right there will debunk anything that you think FEMA camps are not true. And also, if you don't think the government stage is false flags, I want you to do this. Operation Northwoods, Operation Gladio, okay, FM 31, FM 31-20-3. Dan, Dan, do you want to debate your reports or not? Well, we shoot. Go ahead. What do you, uh, what do you uh, think we're talking about? What do you think we're lying about? Uh, that they plan to kill all these people. <laughs> all innocent Americans in Operation Northwoods. That they plan to kill all these innocent people with Operation Northwoods. Is that what you think, Dan? It's right in, uh, right in their own writings. What? It's right in their own writing. Watch you uh, PDF the file for yourself and read it for yourself. <laughs> Not true. This is why you should quit listening to Alex Jones. I'm not listening to Alex Jones. Say that's the thing. You won't. You won't. Yeah, but you, do I see you going on Google challenging this? Oh, about flying planes into buildings? Uh, that's right, in Operation Northwoods. So there was nothing about some flying planes into Yes, buildings. there was. Anybody, I challenge anybody right now. I challenge you right now. Go go, go look up the document. Go look up the document. Uh, go look up the document. Read it for yourself. I had to read it three times to actually believe that this was real. Okay? I didn't want to believe it either. You think I like doing this? You, it's very. It, go. I challenge you. Go. Go. Look for yourself. That's There's all I have to say about that. Operation Northwoods about flying airplanes into buildings and killing people. There's not one thing in Northwoods about killing people, Dan. Well, let's uh, let's find out here. What? I'm going you, can, you can look it up on the internet. You're not going to find it because there's nothing in there about killing innocent civilians and operations. Oh yeah, flying planes into buildings, not uh, killing people. Operation Northwoods. There's nothing in there about killing innocent Americans, Dan. And uh, yeah, flying planes into buildings, not killing people. There's nothing in there about killing people by flying airplanes into buildings, Dan. Dan so please, please oh, man. Uh, be a person. <laughs> Oh man! I mean, live a normal life. I'm like, I guess. Well, I would love to live it. Yeah, I, I would love to live a normal life. Okay, but until we take our country back, that's not possible. Our founding fathers, and, and if you li if you listen to the writings of our founding fathers and the Federalist Papers, especially, that's why they're never brought up in schools about the Federalist Papers. Our founding fathers strictly I mean, warned us of this stuff. Thank you and I. We could. We could print out Northwoods and debate it for an hour and I will prove you wrong. And I've, I've done it here today because everything I've said to you is fact and you cannot prove it to me to be yeah, wrong. Yeah, but I'm get, the thing is, I'm giving you documents. You're not giving me no documents. You haven't are given you me right one. Up? Listen, there are no FEMA camps. You are not going into a FEMA camp. I am not going into a FEMA death camp. <laughs> that is not happening. You are misreading that. Alright, let's go to, um, let's go to uh, USA Today. Okay, let's let, let me pull up that article right now. Let's go to the San Francisco Chronicle while we're at it. No, let's go. Let's go. USA Today. How Howard Breton was given a contract to build these internment camps. Dan, Dan, look, Dan, Dan, use your head real quick. Why does Alex Jones tell you the mainstream media lies all the time, yet you're doing what he does and you're always... <laughs> because we're no, because they come out with the stuff, then they come back later and say they never said it when it's on record. Dan, Dan, Dan God, I, 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 I do like you, Dan. I feel guilty for making fun of you, but, but the part of me says, you know, you, Dan, come on. Look, if you were like a cusser and all those like crazy ones, 
I wouldn't feel bad about making fun of you, but you're a good guy. Hey, it's been really a good time. Care if I upload this to YouTube? All right, we got, uh, the Gatsby Gazette today said Homeland Security de uh, detention camps. Halliburton gets a multi-million dollar contract to build them. This has been announced on uh, USA Today as well and many other publications. So you could Google this right now if you want. You know, okay, listen, I've, I've followed you people for seven years. I know how you operate. Yeah, but I'm giving you, you know, documents. If you don't, you, you really think that FEMA camps don't exist? Uh, they do not, and you're not going to a FEMA death camp, and neither am I. So there's no FEMA camps in the United States, is that what you're saying? You name one person in the FEMA camp. I can name you a bunch of FEMA camps, so you can go there right now and look for yourself. Listen, Dan, Dan, sweetheart. Dan, I've been there. i seen them with my own eyes, okay? You know what? Uh, so people in those FEMA death camps you talk about? Remember um, the World Trade Organization uh, protests in uh, 2010? Where hundreds of people were rounded up? Guess where they took them to? They took them to Sand Point, an internment camp in uh, San Diego. It was right on record. Okay, there's there's three of them in Massachusetts. I seen one with my own eyes. Okay, they. Um, okay, you, you think you saw a FEMA camp? Did you see any people in these FEMA camps? I no, I couldn't get close enough. But we see these camps with our own eyes. It's not. This is on record. It's HR 645. Anybody wants to uh, research it? And if I'm wrong, which I'm not, because that's what the document is. So, so, so am I? Am I wrong about HR 645? Answer that. Yes, you're wrong. I'm wrong about HR 645, right? You're also wrong about the death camps, but HR 453. You're wrong about bomb drills. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want you to go to, uh, all right, if I'm wrong, listen to me, okay, go to gpo.gov, okay, HR 645, okay, the establishment of internment camps, this was approved, this is on record, the White House damn website has this. Okay. So, am I wrong now? Please, and uh, people listening out there, I challenge you to do that, and uh, I'm right here on the damn government's website. Person. I've done tried to get you to name one person. You can't do it. I don't even know. I don't even know one person in jail. Never mind a FEMA camp. That's that's a, a stupid question to ask. Really, that's that doesn't uh, excuse the fact that they exist. When I got the damn government document right here in my face, January twenty second. Hold on, January twenty second of two thousand nine. Alex Jones until he got scared of me and told me not to call him anymore. Ja January 22nd, 2009, right here. And yeah, I know you, you're you not going to do it, but I know everybody listening is going to do this. Again, go to the uh, gpo.gov website, HR 645, January 22nd, 2009. There was establishing okay, construction of okay, internment camps up. by Homeland okay, Security. Up, up 17 people to the truth. Great. You just ruined their lives. Right, Dan. Right, Dan. Dan, wake up, buddy. Oh, no, I'm, a, I'm wide awake. I got... So, um, let me ask you a question. So, that document doesn't exist? Is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah, I'm sure the document exists, but you don't know how to read it properly. Oh, no, it just says internment camps. I mean, like, uh... You... There's nobody in an internment camp. There's nobody in a FEMA camp. Dan, that's not the que that's not the question. Okay, you you were saying that term camps don't exist. I just proved to you they do. And if you oh here's here's the kicker. Yeah, go to goarmy.com and the National Guard they were advertising for internment specialists, and it says right out the house American citizens and POWs right on the army goarmy.com's website. Okay, so and also sure. this, here's, here's some more, okay? Uh, Army document called Army Regulations 210-35. Okay, it, Dad. It, well, listen, you, whatever you believe, it's not true. There are no people in an internment camp. I'm not, I'm not sitting here debating if there is or not. I'm debating that these camps exist. These camps are built there exist. I, no, I, personally, I don't know if the, there's people in there. I can't tell you that because I would be lying. Okay. okay so, they, so they built a bunch of camps to keep them empty. Is that what you're telling me? I don't know. I mean, I I can't tell you if there's people in there or not. I really can't. But I'm just telling you. Coffins in Atlanta. What do you think about those? I'm just telling you that these camps exist. I just proved it to you beyond a shadow of a doubt. 
beyond a shadow of a doubt that these camps Halliburton, and they can research this, they got a multi-billion dollar contract to build these camps by Homeland Security. This is all on record. The USA Today reported that. You know, I'm not lying. This is what the, they're, they're doing. This is about, uh, you could go to the government's website, the White House's website, and find all this stuff for yourself. From the horse's mouth. Don't listen to InfoWars. Don't listen to any other uh, media. You go to the White House, okay? Their own documents from the horse's mouth. You could, you could no, I'm just saying, don't... Don't listen to don't listen to me. I don't want you to listen to me. Okay, I want you to challenge this information. You go to the WhiteHouse.gov's website or the .gov websites, and you find this information from yourself from the horse's mouth. Then still deny it after that. I mean, to deny it, then you would have to be uh, a, a mass asleep. You know, and that Alex says the same thing all the time. Don't listen to us. He says, don't listen to us. You go challenge the information and find out for yourself. And that's what we're telling you. It's, I gave you the documents. HR 645, which was passed. Okay? Army Regulations 210-35. Here, yeah, and all this, all the, here, here, here's the thing for you, too. All right? If you don't believe false flags exist, uh, uh, it's called uh, FM, which is Army Field Manual, FM 31-20-3. It teaches high-level military how to stage false flag attacks. That's right, right in the military's website. Right from the horse's mouth. So it's not from Alex Jones. It's not from Dan Bedondi. It's not from InfoWars or any other media source. It's from the United States government. You own me, Dan, on that. Let, to, okay, you, I, I have to concede you own me there. Uh, what, I mean, what's our biggest evidence 9 11 was an inside job? Well, the first responders, for one. And I know first personally a first responder. And the first responders, as you know, you should know, at the 10th year anniversary, the first responders were not welcome to the 10th year anniversary ceremony. And they've been under scrutiny by the feds for the last 10, 12 years now, whatever. And the first responders, that, you know, who do you think started the 9-11 Truth Commission? It wasn't conspiracy theorists. It was the New York firefighters, the ambulance people who seen the bombs in the building. They seen the explosions. Something was an inside job. Absolutely, yes. The firefighters came out to say that. The police came out to say that. They, they're the ones who started the 9-11 Truth Commission. If you research the roots of it, it was started by the first, some of the first responders. And right now, on record, the 6 out of 10 of the 9-11 Commission reporters all now don't, don't believe an official report. Commissioner, think 9-11 was an inside job, Dan. Don't try and fool me. And you think, let me ask you a question, you think Jeff Huell melted the steel in those buildings? When steel, um, Jeff, you, I, I'm a pilot, okay? I, I've been in aviation business for, I've been in aviation business for over 10 years, okay? And, um, Jeff, you only burns at a maximum of 1,500 degrees. And when you put it, uh, 1,500 doesn't even weaken steel. It doesn't even touch it. To melt steel, you need over 3,000 degrees. And plus, when you put a uh, building, a uh, steel structure up, they spray a fire retardant foam on the, uh, the building. I know, uh, the steel, I'm sorry, which increases the temperature to almost 4,000 degrees. And jet fuel burns at a maximum of 30 seconds of 1,500 degrees. Not even enough to weaken or even melt steel. Uh, the, the, the steel weakened, Dan. No, not 1,500. Anybody that knows steel, that's worked in the steel, I mean, yeah, we interview people we from steel plants down, that know that. No, and it's not true because when, when I do, was doing the, the practice for, at the fire department in the airport, every year we had to take the test. They used steel beams, curved steel beams to put the jet fuel on. They ignited it and we had to learn how to extinguish the fire. And hey, the fire... No, I'm not lying. That you could go. Why, why don't you call? Why don't you call anybody that works in the airport fire department that teaches these classes? They used a piece of steel, a thin piece at that, to uh, ignite the jet fuel. And I had to use a fire extinguisher and know how to put it out, and the different Did techniques. They use silent explosives or was it thermite? No, it was. They, I mean, we definitely know it's thermite. I mean, that's. I mean, you can see that, like the building just melting yeah, down. Thermite's not an explosive. No, it's not. But there was explosives in the foundations of the building, and also, how do you explain Building Seven? Why? Why do you think Building Seven is not a mention in the official report? And why, if you watch the videos, not from my mouth, watch the videos, the hundreds of home videos and whatnot. Five minutes telling people what. Get back, they're going to blow the building. You hear that? Keep your eye on that building. It'll be coming down. The building is about to blow up. Move it back. All right, guys. Sorry.
We are walking back. There's a building about to blow up. Larry Silverstein on TV said, you know what, we suffered much loss. He's the owner of the complex. We suffered enough loss. We decided to pull building seven. I remember getting a call from the uh, fire department commander telling me that they were not sure they were going to be able to contain the fire. And I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull. And then we watched the building collapse. And anybody in the demolition knows it's an explosion. Um, Silverstein never said that. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Yes, he did. And I go, you could chop yeah, out. No, yes, he did. He said he played. No, he did not. Yes, he did. Go, go, you're on your computer now. Why don't you go play it? So type in Larry Silverstein admits blowing up Building 7. Go ahead. I challenge anybody right now. I will pay you. I will pay you, okay, $1,000. Okay, okay, if he did not say that. You go pull it up right now. Anybody can go to YouTube or any source, whatever you want to go to. Larry Silverstein admits blowing up Building 7. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. For a thousand dollars, Dan. Give me that quote. <laughs> no, type it in. Go ahead. Oh, you, you, listen, you tell me the quote you just said for a thousand dollars. He said, we suffered much loss, and we decided to pull Building 7. And I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. We suffered a bunch of loss, and we decided to pull Building 7? Yep. No, he didn't, Dan. All right, they didn't. All right, no problem. You're, you're right, because even though the TV said it. I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. You know, I'm making the stuff up. Dan, you have so much wrong tonight. I'm making the stuff up. You know what I mean? And even though it, it was live on CNN, uh, when I interviewed FEMA, because after the incident Tuesday night, and I interviewed FEMA, well, you know, you guys are doing such a great job, and uh, if FEMA says, oh, yeah, we were very prepared for this, we got here late last night. Search and rescue, it's part of FEMA. But to be honest with you, uh, we arrived on uh, late Monday night and went into action on Tuesday morning. And not until today did we get a full opportunity to work uh, uh, the entire site other than the spot of church and day to which we were deployed. You know, and it, FEMA and Larry Silverstein were behind blowing up the buildings because he's an evil Jew or something? No, FEMA admitted they were there the night before. On national live TV and people just overlooked that. BBC reported Tower 7 coming down live on the air. We got uh, This is all over the internet. Now, more on the latest building collapse in New York. You might have heard a few moments ago, I was talking about the Salomon Brothers building collapsing. And indeed it has. Apparently that's only a few hundred yards away from where the World Trade Center towers were. And it seems that this was not a result of a new attack. It was because the uh, building had been weakened. Uh, during uh, this morning's attacks. We'll probably find out more now about that from our correspondent, Jane Stanley. Jane, what more can you tell us about the Salomon Brothers building and its collapse? Well, only really what you already know. Details are very, very sketchy. There's almost a sense downtown in uh, New York behind me, down by the World Trade Centers, of uh, just an area completely closed off as the rescue workers try to do their job. But Live on here, tower sudden collapses, blah, blah, blah. It's still up in the background. And all of a sudden they go to a fuzzy transmission when they realize that tower seven was still up and they reported it too soon. There's nothing about a fuzzy transmission. Oh, there is. When we heard the news, perhaps on the radio earlier today, were uh, completely flabbergasted by it and, and just couldn't un comprehend it. I mean, it was—it almost sounded too far-fetched. Um, I was wondering what it felt like for you being in Manhattan. Well, unfortunately, I think we've lost the line with uh, Jane Stanley in Manhattan. Perhaps we can. Is that, no, no. I want. I know you're recording this, so. You know, when you calm down, okay, when you calm down, and I want you to, I challenge you, okay, to research everything I said. All this stuff I've is on record. It, it's all documented. I've researched it all, Dan. No, you, you did not, because it's on record. It's on, it, 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 it's, it's all over the damn internet. Okay, you got the, the videos from all the sources saying the stuff. I mean, you can't make the stuff up. I mean, I wish to God, I wish to God that, what? I wish to God that the stuff wasn't real. Okay, I wish it was all... You're talking like Alex now. I wish to God this wasn't... And you talk just like Alex Jones, Dan. You are, like, so deep into him. 
No, because we question our reality. We question um, our illeg illegitimate government. You know, it's... He's your God, and he has ruined your life. <laughs> and he is the reason you don't have... No, your my God is Jesus Christ. You don't have your family or your friends, Dan. It's Alex Jones. Alex Jones is a great friend of mine. I love that guy. And my, but my God is Jesus Christ. That's my God. That's the person I serve. So, whatever. Okay. Man, I'm just saying, man. Like, I'm, I'm just saying, why don't you challenge this information, man? That, yeah, that's all I'm asking you. Challenge these people. I'll send you all the documents if you want. I'll give you the links. I'll give you everything you need. Okay? I challenge you. Okay? But I give you, I've been hearing this for seven years. About yeah, but you, have you done the research? Have you done the research? Have you done the research? Yes, I've done the research. My yeah, God. if you've done the research, then you would know. It's plain sight. I mean, you. I mean, a kid could understand this. Hey, look, man, plain sight, that's another Alex Jones catchphrase. No, it's just common sense. <laughs> you know, it's common sense. It's right there in your face, and you don't even see it. Bush, I mean, he lied on national TV. He said, uh, Iraq has weapons of mass destruction. Then he went back as Dick Cheney said, we never said that. Even though Larry King says, yes, you did. It's right here. Yeah, oh, no, I, I never said that. Yeah, they lie all the time. I agree with that. You know, we, we gave them those weapons of mass destruction. You know, whatever weapons they have. You know, I mean, it's they just like, and, you know, this whole Bin Laden thing, it's all a hoax. Bin Laden worked for the CIA in the 1980s as Timothy Osman. That's on record. Yeah, uh, the hey, CIA you know, funded. They fund Al Qaeda. They created yeah, Al Qaeda. You called the Boston Marathon press conferences to be like put on hiatus. No, but there was a false flag. The FBI was definitely involved with that. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, no, hold on. No, 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 the press conferences. Did, did you and Infowars called like press press conferences to be put on hold? They had to change their stories. Absolutely, they did. We they were gonna go after the Patriot movement. Monday night, their goal, their number one goal. That's why they had the first suspect with the beard, and they, my friend Dave Kopass. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, my friend Dave Kopass. Okay, he's a huge Patriot movement leader in the state of Massachusetts. They called him Monday. The FBI. They called him Monday. Asked him where he was, and they wanted to meet up with him. They were going to set him up as a patsy. But that first guy you seen all over the news with the beard that everybody forgot about. They were going to set him up as a patsy and go after the Patriot groups. But thanks to what we did. We stopped them from doing that, and they had to go to Plan B with these two innocent Czechoslovakian kids that had nothing to do with the bombing. They were set up as patsies. And after why they... You, and you so can, why do you think they just didn't turn themselves <coughs> up? Wait a second, here we are, we didn't do it. Why do you think they, just, they didn't just do that? Would you? Yeah. No, would yeah. you, if you... And the thing is, here's common sense. Just say, all right... I mean, yeah, wait a second, you got my pictures all over the freaking country, and the nation. Hold on a second... No, no, let me ask you this, okay? If you just blew up the Boston Marathon, now, the next day, where's the place you want to be? Far away from Boston as you can. You wouldn't be the next town in Watertown over. You know, that... People commit crimes all the time. So not a crime of that, not, not that significant, no. If you just crimes pull all the time, up... I got away with it. If I got away with it the next day around. If you pulled off a massive attack like that, you know, that hit world news, you'd be far away from the state of Massachusetts as possibly can. You'd be in another country. I know, if I was to do something like that, I would be going out of the out of, the, out of New England, period. If you're that sick and twisted, you would pull off a stunt like that? You'd probably think you're super brave and such what? All right, why, why don't you watch the video footage, right? Now, after the bombs went off, you see the two suspects leaving the area, and guess what? They still had their backpacks on, and uh, the nineteen and the nineteen year old kid had a white backpack. Now everybody could agree right now the backpacks that blew up were black vinyl black packs with a white little patch on the back. The same backpacks those contractors in the khaki pants and the khaki boots were seen with. Why are you Why are you going after innocent people, Dan? That's it. That's it. You're making me mad now, Dan. You're going after innocent people and making and making them complicit in this heinous freaking. These guys were seen on scene. That we got pictures and video of them all over the roofs. Okay, Man. they were giving police orders. They were co they were coordinating the whole event. Okay, this is a false flag attack. Okay, Dan. 
I tried to help you. you know, no, you, the, the thing is, if you show, if you, well, hold on a minute. If you show me documents, you can do whatever you want, man. But I'm, I'm asking you a question again, all right? If you show me, if you show me documents, okay, you show me stuff to refute, and the, the documents are legit and all that. Hell, I'll I'll retract the, you know what I was wrong on. But so far, you haven't provided one document. I gave you, I gave you scores of documents. motherfuckers putting those fucking backpacks. There. It's going to come out. I 100% guarantee you. I will bet you this. I will give you three thousand dollars to you giving me three. <laughs> this time, bitch. So I just cussed you. Back up. Three thousand dollars to three hundred, Dan. It will come out in trial and it will be broadcast for the world to see. Oh well, uh, absolutely. You're right. It's going to come out that way. You think it's going to come out any other way? You think they're going to say, "Oh yeah, we did it." They're not these two suspects. The video will come out with those motherfuckers putting that shit on the sidewalk. Okay. Well, there's no video of it right now. They, they I mean, you hold on. You gotta remember what happened. What happened last year? What happened in Boston? Let me ask you a question. What happened in Boston last year? Homeland Security got granted a giant contract, fifty million dollars, to put cameras all over the city of Boston. Now, this is the United States freaking government you're talking about. They could pinpoint an ant from space on ground. You know what I mean? And you're sitting here denying. You know, this is all on video. People seeing this. Home videos everywhere. This is the 21st century. Everybody's got video cameras now. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but Dan, you're a cutie pie. I love you. It was good talking to you. You too, man. Well, I'm asking you, man, to do, do, do the investigation. You know, and God bless you. And I'm sorry you had to go through, do that stuff with the police in front of your kids and all that. My heart goes out to you, man. But I'm just, uh, you know, asking you to do the, you know, I'll, I'll send you the links, okay? You could do it to will with them. But I'm just, you know, showing you the door. You have to walk through it, man.